many of us don't realize that coffee is actually one of the most traded commodities after oil and the one we humans consume the most after water. At the same time, believe it or not, we could say it's one of the products we ignore the most. We consume it every day, but we many times do not know where the coffee actually comes from, what its origins are, we do not know what the variety is, or even how and where it's roasted. Therefore, having our own coffee plantation in Panama, which we acquired in 2007, where we're growing specialty coffee on over 80 hectares of land, what we're most concerned about is to get across coffee knowledge to the end user, to integrate the end user as well into the world of coffee and make him part of it and enjoying that perfect cup of coffee. In 2012, we finally made a dream come true and established our own micro roaster uh, here in Albir, where we carefully roast uh, our beans uh, to a special roasting profile depending on uh, where the beans come from, depending on the origin, and also depending a lot on what actually the coffee will be used for. It's very different if we roast for filter coffee or if we actually roast for producing an espresso. Today we're happy of being able to distribute our coffee to over 30 coffee shops all around Spain. Here at the warehouse uh, we keep uh, the main bulk of our coffees. You can see here the coffee from our plantation in Panama. And uh, here in front we have the coffees we import directly from Colombia. We always try to directly work with the producers so we have the full traceability of our coffees. Especially coffees are coffees grown on small plantations on minimum of a thousand meter over sea level. And as we see here, we have um, coffee we just received from Colombia uh, at uh, around 12% humidity and it's ready to roast. Some of our coffees are actually organic. For example, we have um, the sacks back there, the orange sacks you can see back there. That's a very interesting coffee, organic coffee from Brazil. It actually has a special um, certificate called Demeter, it's a German certificate. We brought organic coffees from Colombia as well. But then there's a, a special situation many times in, in the world of coffee with organic grown coffees. This is a coffee I myself was at the producer in, in Nicaragua. We imported it directly from Nicaragua. And the coffee is actually organic. It is organic because the producer doesn't have money uh, to buy pesticides, buy fertilizers, and put it into his plants. So therefore the coffee is organic. But at the same time the producer does not have any money to actually certify the coffee as organic. Which then again makes him not being able to charge a fair amount of money for his coffee. So us knowing that, we, we actually bought this coffee without it being certified organic. But knowing that it is. We often come here because we like a lot of the coffee. We normally get from the academy to come here and just have a, a recharge and we like a lot of the coffee. So I would like to tell you, explain to you what exactly specialty coffees are. Uh, first of all, we need to remember that uh, coffee is a seasonal product. That means uh, every year we have, an har we have a harvest, we have a crop and uh, this can change from year to year, the quality of the coffee can change. We receive samples or we ask the producer for samples so we can roast these samples and really evaluate the quality of the coffee. Then we receive the coffee in green beans as you can see. Uh, you can see that all of the beans are the same size, the same color. We can see that the selection, the process of the selection of the beans is very well done. They're actually only 10% of all Arabica coffees are specialty coffees. These coffees are cupped in origin by a group of quality graders. These are specialized cuppers which evaluate the quality of the coffee. If we think about Parker points for the wine industry, uh, this is very similar. 
and this is usually done in origin, although when they send us samples, in our case as a micro roaster, we then cup the coffees again to see if we really agree with that result and want to start working with that coffee. As roasters or as baristas, we like to remember that coffee really is a fruit. We actually talk about the coffee cherry, and in this coffee cherry we can find two beans. Usually every coffee cherry has two coffee beans, or they're actually the seed of the fruit. So once we roast this uh, bean, we also like to find certain fruity flavors in the coffee. This is something, especially in, in specialty coffees grown at a certain altitude, we can find fruity flavors such as um, lemon, we can find often also red fruits, and um, especially these, these flavors we can enjoy when we prepare coffees on, on filter methods such, such as Chemex or V60 Bahario. We're preparing a Chemex right now and in this moment we're creating a pre-infusion of around 30 seconds. So what happens is uh, we allow the water to penetrate the coffee and extract the, the, the aromatics, extract the oils. And now we, we will infuse the coffee. This is a nice filter coffee. We will infuse it for around three minutes. The water should be at around 94, between 92 and 94 degrees. Never boiling. Each coffee has its own characteristics, its own flavor profile. To really capture that and find the right profile and be able to replicate that roasting profile, we work with a special program which allows us to follow up the temperature and the time we will be roasting every coffee. Catch us roasting right now. We just finished uh, roasting one of our coffees from Burundi, the smallest African coffee producing countries. Uh, here in De Origen, we uh, roast our coffees really with a very light roasting profile. We also call it a slow roasting process, as uh, the roast process takes around 15 minutes. So we try not to burn the natural uh, aromas and characteristics of each origin. We really try to do every step here in the origin coffee with a lot of love and care uh, and hope the customers appreciate that as well. Therefore we also established a special coffee academy right next door where uh, new baristas, new uh, people that want to learn about the world of coffee, learn about making the perfect cup of coffee can, uh, can do this. Uh, one of our trainers is actually uh, Spain's national latte art champion which will teach you the, the fun and uh, nice part of doing latte art or drawing with the milk in your coffee. tell they have a passion for what they do and especially for the coffee and a special extra effort to bring new coffees every month and we get to try different things in it the, the staff are all friendly it's like a family they're, they're animal friendly also so that's nice because we get to bring our our children with us and they well we really enjoy the coffee the atmosphere and trying new things every week <laughs> 